this conference will now be recorded in the series of incoming officers classes um we have been getting good support with um attendance the first evening we had about a little bit over 50 percent of the lions that we had expected and that was because we were still hoping to have the caymanians so I think if we took them out, then we would end up with about 65% or so, which I thought was good. Um, yesterday, I have to tell you that was even better. We had registered about 22 to 20, I think it was 25 persons and we went over 50. We had 56 Six. persons participating. So my hope is that this will be the trend as we go forward. But this is this is not about me. So we're going to get quickly. I'm going to ask Lion um, Murine. Mur Lion Murine is from St. Catherine Central Lions Club, and I'm going to ask her to say the Lion's Prayer on behalf of all of us. Where lions meet, we present Lord to well our hearts in one accord. To do Thy will, Lord, make us strong to aid the weak and right the wrong. Amen. 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 Lions, this evening, it's, um, as I said, it's a third um, session. And what we have been doing as we move along, we have been trying to improve our presentation. So you will be the first group that will have an evaluation form at the end of this meeting. I'll be putting a link in the chat section of this presentation. So you will be able to pick up that information and you can complete the evaluation. Don't worry, the persons who went before will still have access to it. I have um, Lan Wendy has been kind enough to send me the list of participants in, in the past classes. So I will be able to send this out. Your form could also be used multiple times. So if you are evaluating tonight's um, class when you get to the end of the form you will notice that it says next you hit that button and you go ahead and you fill in for whatever other class you did before okay Lan Avaloy from the secretariat is going to be managing this I won't know who sends anything and all she's going to be doing is sending uh, me a uh, and along with Lion Paulette, she'll be sending us a, a, like a spreadsheet with a breakdown of, of each class and how they were evaluated. All right. At this time, I want to hand you over to your very able presenters, but I think I should do a little bit of introduction. Starting off this evening's um, class is going to be Lion June McCarthy, past district governor. And you all know Lion June is from the Mandeville Club. She will be dealing with um, the district officers. And then we move smoothly from Lion June to Lion Isaac McCullough, past council chairman. And he is going to be doing the presentation on service chairs. He is going to be assisted by a new lion, relatively speaking, but someone who has a, quite a bit of experience in the education field. And that is. Lion Dorothy Anderson. She is from the St. Catherine Central Lions Club. So I will hand you over now to Lion June McCarthy. Thank you, Lion Judy. We were playing musical chairs. Good evening, Lions. Before Lion Wendy begin running the slides, I'll share with you that I'll be doing the training, as Lion Judy says, for district coordinators and assistant district coordinators first. And then I'll hand over the last hour or so to Lion Isaac, who along with Lion Dorothy will do the training for club service chairs. So Lions, welcome to the training session for district coordinators and assistant district coordinators. Um, I must say that since we are going to be the guinea pigs in regards to the camera, I had to go and get dressed up. Do you like how dressed up I am? 
Somebody needs to answer me. You look great. Okay, yes, what is that one? Let me see. <laughs> That's good. Thank you very much. Now, <clears throat> Line Wendy will be assisting, so she will start the <clears throat> move the slides for us. So, Line Wendy, could we go to the agenda, please? Now, as an introduction to this session, I'd like to say that not only is this online training a first, but as far as I can remember, this kind of session where we are dealing with the district officers is also a first time event. So I hope, uh, Lions, that I'll do justice to it. So there's your agenda. Next slide, please, Lion Wendy. Okay, icebreaker to relax the learning environment. And this icebreaker is called Lions Say. Now, Lions Say, when they think of the word district, they think of. So on the screen lines, you will see the first letters of words that are going to be projected. It's your job now that you will have to make uh, um, suggestions, guess the words. And if the words are correct, then Line Wendy will project the word. So let's start. On the screen, we have a word beginning with I, and we have a word beginning with S, and one with C. And <laughs> International. Line Wendy. Line Wendy, could you um, assist me and say how we're going to do this? Because it, it's not coming out clearly. You're, you're going to do all the words, all the ones that's missing here, all five of them. And then yes. we're going to get all the answers. OK. <laughs> so the I then, who, who says the I? International. OK, the S. <laughs> Service. Service. And the C? Club. Okay. And the DG? District Governor. <laughs> good. Very good. Very good. Now, Camille, you're yes, too bright. <laughs> okay. Good. And we go to the next slide. And the next slide is similar. They are? The regional. Region. Okay. Next slide. Next one. The T. And a training. No, never thought of that one. <laughs> this is before the training. Another word that's very important to us as as district uh, officers. Okay. Say that again. Team. Yes. Go ahead, the next one. I, you, you guessed it before. Institute. No, you guessed it before on the previous slide. International. 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 Right. And the last T is a different T, different word. Right now, we're using it. Technology. Technology. Bright spark, whoever that was. Very good. Congratulations, trainees. Your brains are really ticking this evening. And I think we are a little bit more relaxed. Next slide, please, line Wendy. And somebody's mic is open. Okay, let's continue. Now, on Sunday last at our District 60B convention, we learned much from our line Marine Graham, our district governor elect. One of the things that we learned is that the title district chairperson and uh, associate chairperson would be those two titles would be changed to district coordinator and district assistant coordinator so that was one learning another learning that we had was that she 
gave us the following selections. The following selections were made. First of all, one, Lionelli Walker, MJ, as diabetes coordinator. Two, Lion Brenda Scarlett Miller, drug awareness assistant coordinator. Three, Lion Seabird Royal, environmental and climate change assistant coordinator. Next slide, please. Four, Lion Christian Freiter, environmental and climate change coordinator. Five, Lion Winsome Harper, hunger and homelessness assistant coordinator. Lion Thora Palmer Richards, hunger and homelessness assistant coordinator. Seven, Lion Siobhan Sutherland, information technology assistant coordinator. Eight, Lion Elaine Peaches McMaster, LCIF coordinator. Nine, Lion Avaloy Forbes, Leo Program Coordinator. Ten, Lion Marilyn Anderson, Marketing, Communication, and PR Assistant Coordinator. And at this point, I'd like to say a public congratulations to Lion Marilyn for being named the President of the Year. Congratulations. Next slide, please. Thank you. Thank you, Lion June. Okay. Number 11, line Steve Prince, Parenting and Youth Coordinator. Number 12, line Paul Robinson, Sustainable Empowerment Assistant Coordinator. And 13, line Alicia Lee, Sustainable Empowerment Assistant Coordinator. 14, line Norman Boswell, Vision Assistant Coordinator. Let me at this time make apologies for lines Avaloy and Nelly for their late absence. Now, I would also like to mention at this point that the global team, that this global action team has already met with Lion District Governor-elect who will be their leader. She is going to be sharing her plans with them and also to provide guidance. Okay, so we are looking at the objectives of for this training session. And it is my belief that at the conclusion of the training session, the participants or the trainees will be able to state the responsibilities of a district coordinator and uh, an assistant district coordinator. And they'll also be able to develop a plan which will aid their success in the role as a district coordinator or assistant district coordinator. Okay, now, although you have accepted trainees, although you have accepted verbally and in writing the position for a little more cementing, as I would say, I have prepared this acceptance statement. And but for clarity, I will ask Lion Siobhan Sutherland to read this acceptance statement. And the other trainees, I'm asking you please to read with your microphones muted. Please read Lion Siobhan. Lion Siobhan, are you there? No, he's not. And alive. Tora, would you please turn off whatever it is that you have going on? Okay, so I'm going to pretend that I'm Lion Siobhan because it would seem as if Lion Siobhan has not joined us as yet. Am I correct? Okay. I line Siobhan Sutherland, or maybe I could ask somebody else who is here. Let me see who is also line Steve. Good line Steve is uh, the assistant coordinator for parenting and youth. Line Steve, could you read for me, please? I line Steve Prince. I've accepted line Maureen Graham's request to serve in the post of parent and youth coordinator. Serving the post of as coordinator for in the area of parenting and youth for region one and four for 2020-2021 that is secure. I will perform the duties, the required duties 
something below that? No, so that's, that's it. Okay. Thank you very much, Lance Steve. So, yes, Lance, sir. trainees, I hope that now you have publicly accepted your post, and therefore, the all of District 60B, especially Regions 1 and 4, will be looking forward to your activities in these posts. Let's continue, Lion Wendy. So, DCs, when I say DCs, Lions, uh, it's district coordinators and ADCs will be assistant district coordinators. Is this uh, where the job ends? And I definitely hope that it is not so. Please do not allow only a letter of introduction coming from you to the clubs to arrive in the club's possession in January 2021. Please don't let that happen. And although I'm not picking on anybody, I'm just giving an example. Don't let it happen that in March 2021, Land Christian writes to the clubs only informing them of April being Environmental Awareness Month. There is much more to be done, Lions. There's much more to be done. And this is going to start now. The journey begins today, Thursday, May 28th, 2020. This is a training day and it will end on, and the journey will end in May 2021. If COVID allows us, we'll go to, I think it's St. Martin, to celebrate at the multiple district convention. So, Lance, I'm asking that you ensure that that day will be a day of celebration. Make sure that your activities as district officers, as uh, DCs and ADCs, uh, make sure that your activities throughout the year will ensure that there is a time for celebration in May 2021. Next slide. Now, the district coordinators and assistant coordinators, your level of service is at the district level and sometimes even at the multiple district level. You have been appointed by the district governor and you may ask why, or somebody may ask you why. And it is my feeling, it is my feeling that this, is, this has been done to spike interest, to inspire and to support Lions and Leo clubs to serve, but to serve how? I'm going to share some of my thoughts, which I hope that you will, you will elaborate on. And I'm going to share them in four steps in the most simplest, in the simplistic form. That's what I hope to do today, to share with you how you will do this. How will you spike interest? How will you inspire? And how you will support the clubs to serve? Thank you. And Wendy? Now, four steps. Step one, learn. Step two, plan. Step three, act. And of course, step four, celebrate. Learning. Now, you may ask, what are you supposed to learn? And I, it is my belief that it is any information regarding your area of service, any information at all. And how are you going to learn this? I think the main tool that you would use is that of research. Research to make sure that you become knowledgeable in all ways of your service area. For example, you will look at the district governor's goals one of her main goals is the matter of empowering communities. It's so important to her that she has named one assistant coordinator in Region 1, Lion Alicia Lee, and one in Region 4, Lion Paul Robinson. And another of her goals is empowering Leo Club program. And the coordinator for this program is none other than Lion Avaloy. Lion Avaloy has uh, served as a Leo and uh, has uh, transitioned into being a lion and uh, has certainly done a fantastic job as a lion. And so I'm sure that you as coordinators will 
be in touch with uh, these uh, other coordinators uh, to learn something about uh, those two areas uh, and uh, of course to this um, help you to make plans for those two areas then of course uh, the Lions Club International, their focus areas, their global causes. That place, the website, the international website, is chock full of information. Please do not go on it when you only have five minutes, because the minute you open one article, one item of information, you are moved to another one. It cannot be done in five minutes. Do you know that there's what you call a landscape international events calendar, which gives uh, a lot of uh, information, a monthly information about uh, the service area that is going to be zeroed in on for each month. There's another section that will give you 100 service ideas. There's another section that gives you service toolkits. So there's a lot of information on the website that uh, will help you in your role as coordinators. Do you know that the LCI global causes are diabetes, environment, hunger, childhood cancer, and uh, vision? So you have a lot of research to be done uh, on the website. Then when we look at the clubs and uh, the citizens uh, who they serve, uh, and the community which they serve. You will have to look at each group of clubs. For example, you may, Porus and Mandeville are so very close that whatever you may find for Mandeville may be true for um, Porus and vice versa. So it is that you're going to be look at the positives in these clubs and, sit, and the communities the negatives, the challenges that they have, solutions to these challenges, and of course, any stumbling blocks. For example, Lance Siebert, who is the assistant coordinator for environment. When it comes to the month that Lance of International zeroes in on beach cleanup, I'm sure Lance Siebert would not do a general letter about this and send it out to clubs like Mandeville and Poros. I don't know of any sea in Mandeville, any beach in Mandeville. The only beach we have in Mandeville are all the, the, the tanks where we get water from, some of us. So you have to be very careful with, with the information that you share with the clubs. And then we move, we look at local, regional, and government agencies. As an educator for years, I learned that there is a commission called National Parenting Support Commission existing at 37 Arnold Road, Kingston, Jamaica. Lion Steve, are you aware of this commission? I'm sure you're going to get a lot of information in regards to your parenting and youth service area. Lion Steve? Yes, I'm aware of it. Very good. So you see, Lion Steve, that research now you'll be able to help some of the clubs with the um, projects and service projects in that area because I'm sure that such an agency, such a commission, will look forward to help from service clubs. Started already. Pardon me? Started working already. Good, excellent, very good. So we go on, the contact information for president and service chairs. I think that's another research area that you will have to um, do and you have to make up a, a contact list for these lines, president and service chairs. And I'm going to be able to know if you have done this, you know, because I'm going to be the service chair for the Lions Club of Mandeville. So I look forward to the being the service chair and I'm also looking forward to being trained by Lion Isaac and Lion Dorothy in a couple of minutes. So look, please make sure that I'm on your contact list. Okay. And there's another, there's another agency 
I'm sure that Lion Steve will look at, and that is the CDA, Child Development Agency, and we have a lion, a well-known lion in that agency. So you see, trainees, there are lots of uh, local, regional, and government agencies uh, that you need to research and get more information on. From sorry, now following this learning experience or research, you'll be able to decide on some goals which you can share with the global service team being led by Lion Dave Scarlett and of course ably joined to Lion Dave our Lion Wendy our own Lion Wendy who is working with us on these um, workshops and Lion Toshi okay any questions so far okay good all right, now we can go to step, step two. Now, step two um, plan has three different sections to it. The first section is the spike interest. Now, in the first step, you did your research. So you have uh, a list of activities and potential activities that you could be suggesting to clubs. You have some information on a list of organizations and the possible partnerships with some of these organizations. You have a list of your government agencies. You have a list, sorry, of the government agencies in regards to their roles and responsibilities. So, Lions, I'm coordinators, I'm hoping that you will use these lists to spike interest in the in the clubs. Call them up, say to them, you know, there is this organization called Darren, um, the commission there, the youth, sorry, what was the name of the commission again? Parenting commission. And they would like some help in such and such. So that's how you're going to spike interest. Now, we are also hoping that you will um, encourage clubs to do their community assessments. You know that Lands Club International has uh, the community assessment forms that they always ask us to complete. Some or the other, though, um, I don't think they, in some clubs, they, get, they use the summary. So you are going to um, ensure that this is done to the point where you may believe that uh, the one set out by Lions International is too wide. So you may want to um, formulate your own in regards to your service areas. So you use these uh, lists and these community assessments to spike interest in the clubs. Uh, and of course, you will do this by either verbal communication or written communication to the clubs. Okay, now spike your spike some interest and we move on. I my belief is that now you're ready to inspire, inspire the clubs. And what I mean by that is that I'm expecting you know, to blow service into the lines so that you will increase their humanitarian efforts. So you're blowing service into them. Some of our clubs have become so very, you know, a one project here or one project there, right? Because maybe they don't have anybody, any person really trying to inspire them to, to, to work, right? And how shall we do this? First of all, I think with, this uh, virtual medium that we use, we have the online method, we have we can form WhatsApp groups with uh, the service chairs, right? And for example, right away in July, you could be reminding them, the service chairs, that uh, August 12th is International Youth Day. Or you could uh, be indicating care, that is, showing them that you're looking forward to them being involved in service 
don't just leave it up. Tell them that you're really looking forward. I would imagine that Lion, Lion Norman being the vision awareness coordinator, assistant coordinator, he would be working very hard to remind the lions and to inspire them to do some work in the with white cane. It begins in September. October is a real white cane month, International White Cane Day being on October 15, International White Cane Safety Day. You know how many persons do not know that when they see somebody with a white cane, what they're supposed to do. How, so Lion Norman could be encouraging, encouraging the uh, demonstration out in a town area for the use of the white cane. Now you can also be enthusiastic, be enthusiastic about what is happening. You know, every leader, every leader knows that, every teacher knows that if you are not enthusiastic about what you want people to do, what you want people to learn, you can forget about it, right? You have to show enthusiasm. Next slide. All of this you are using to inspire your lions, inspire the lions. You have to give compliments pertaining to what they are thinking about. You have to make positive suggestions and, of course, keep the contact going. All of these activities will blow service into the lions to increase or to enhance their humanitarian. Okay. Now, after you have blown inspiration in them to serve, now they are ready. They are showing that they are ready to make some plans. How will that affect you as coordinator? And Wendy? As coordinator or assistant coordinators, you are expected to support give assistance to see to the completion of these projects when they are planning. So you may make suggestions that may enhance the activity. You share necessary contact information, right? Or you may offer possible assistance. For example, you may recommend um, PR measures, right? But all the timelines, coordinators, assistant coordinators, you must, one thing that you must stress, and that is organize, organize, organize. Nothing works well unless you organize. At this time, all the DCs and the ADCs would have become consultants who will be of much importance to the clubs. Any questions? All right, being very clear. Now, step three, ready to act. At this juncture, the implementation of the project will take place. We are ready to move into action. How? How are you going to help as coordinators? How are you going to help as assistant coordinators? Well, first of all, I think that you could get involved in the implementation of these service activities, whether in person or virtually. You're going to also express wishes for a successful implementation. And then you're going to check on your, the successes, the achievements, the benefits, ask them to get testimonials from the people who were served, they could, these testimonials could be recorded. And of course, you could make recommendations to improve the next activity. Okay. And step four. Of great importance, of great importance uh, is a matter of uh, celebration. And of course, this step has different parts to it. The first part being the reporting. This is where a lot of clubs fall down. So you have you as coordinators and assistant coordinators, 
you will encourage uh, club committee chairpersons to report thoroughly the activities to the service chairperson and depending on the club's reporting procedure, maybe also to the second vice president. But when I say report thoroughly, what does that mean? It means that your report will contain the expenditure for the project eh, to implement the project, the statistics, how many lines involved, how many persons were impacted. And lines, please remember that, for example, if you help one child or one mother, you're not just helping one child or one mother, you'll be helping a whole family. So remember that you're not just impacting that child or that uh, um, family or that mother. Now, the impact, you have to um, decide what kind of financial impact there was, the response of the recipients, and again, I say get the testimonials. Now, very important to the district governor elect is a matter of sustainability. So, of course, you'll check on that, make sure that the, the report has that in it. And most certainly, pictorial report. Very important to have your pictures. So, I am saying to the coordinators, always encourage your um, service chairpersons uh, to make these reports uh, tell an interesting and a want to be read story. Don't make it, oh, we just went around the corner and we did this. Its story must be interesting and you must uh, want the person reading it, must want to read it. Uh, okay, so that's uh, the reporting as far as uh, you are going to be encouraging the service chairs. All right, now we move on to your reporting as a district coordinator or an assistant district coordinator. The assistant district coordinators, of course, should keep the district coordinators informed of the projects that they have been involved in. The district coordinators are your immediate boss, in other words. So if, uh, for example, um, Lion Siebert as an assistant district coordinator in the environmental area, he will report to Lion Christian Freighter, who is the district coordinator. Then, of course, the district coordinators should keep the district governor and the global service team informed of the projects being implemented in the regions. They can also discuss and evaluate their progress, the progress of their plans and goals with the district governor and the GST. You can, um, one of the places that you can get help with reporting, if you go online and you put in lionsclubs.org slash service dash reporting, it gives some examples of how to do reports. So that's another area that you could do some research. Lionsclubs.org slash service dash reporting. Another part of celebration is the matter of sharing. As district coordinators and assistant district coordinators, you will encourage club committee chairpersons to work with Lion President and their Lion President and other club officers to produce a newsletter, maybe monthly. This newsletter would include project stories and pictures. It can be shared with other clubs as well as shared with LCI. Please take off that effort with LCI. Now, you're sharing though, most certainly you as the DC or as the ADC, you will receive copies of these news newsletters because you will ask to be for them to be shared with you. You will be expected to share with other lines at the district level with a special emphasis, with special emphasis on marketing communication and PR coordinator. And who is that? Lion Marilyn Anderson. Lion Marilyn Anderson may use uh, these newsletters to do press releases. Even yesterday, 
on Google, I read an article, and I think Lion Steve put it out today, where they were Google Loop News, I believe, was highlighting the Lions of Grand Cayman assisting in this um, COVID-19 time. They were giving out uh, packages to needy persons. Why not? I know we have done a lot of that in Jamaica. Let us get uh, we, to the point where we are showing off what we are doing, right? Now, recognizing this is so very, very important. A lot of persons sometimes shy away from this, but as two writers state, people value being appreciated for their contributions or for their service. Recognition does not have to be elaborate. It just has to be genuine. It's a powerful tool, coordinators, and rewards that come regularly or recognition that comes regularly is so very important. So now you have to plan throughout the year. In this pandemic time, you'll have to work with the situation throughout the year and decide Will the recognition be accomplished uh, virtually, online, or face-to-face -face at meetings? What will be the new norm? Nobody really knows. But recognition, coordinators, is a must. We all thrive on it. Well, I know I thrive on it. So I'm sure that at the end of this session, right, I am going to be recognized and i'm only hoping that lines judy and lion paulette are listening to me well trainees coordinators assistant coordinators the end is drawing nigh are there any questions i've talked so much okay and Ju June. yes um just to point out, we need to encourage them to use the MyLand app. And even at, at, at DC or ADC, you can build a group with on it of your club persons who are for similar to so the various set persons in the club. You can build a group in it. So you can have direct contact with them using the MyLand app. Okay, and of course, uh, you heard that uh, coordinators and assistant coordinators, and of course, if you come back uh, to the training on Sunday at 6.30, there's going to be a training session on the use of uh, my lion. Am I correct, Lion Steve? That is correct. Okay, so therefore, look out for that, because as Lion Steve says, uh, that is very important and it will be a useful tool for you as coordinators. Thank you, Lion Steve. Anybody else? Okay, let's move on. Now, the following two slides uh, is my form of evaluation. Having listened to me for a little while, uh, some words have been used. Uh, and so we are going to do the same activity as we did for the uh, the icebreaker. And to recap, can we say what uh, DCs and ADCs says when they think of the word coordinator? They think of these are words that we used during that I used during the presentation. And networking. No, I didn't ever, I never said it about networking. <laughs> That's in your headline line, Steve. N for, I've been a real bad teacher. All right, it's maybe somebody come up with that. What about R? Said that many times at the beginning. Research, research, research. 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 research right oh there are many o's in. and i repeated one three times organize organize, organize. organize. right and the i 
Inspire. Inspire. Right. Back to the end. Uh, and the end is what now? National. No. Oh. And this is very important, you know, because you're going to use it to be able to tell everybody about what uh, has been done in your region as coordinator. Newsletter. 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 Right. Newsletter. Good. So we remember your newsletters. Remember to search. Remember to uh, organize, organize, and especially to inspire the clubs to serve. Next page, please. Next slide, sorry. Okay, again, DG. District Governor. Of course, always having to be in contact with her. A. Oh. One of the steps. Act. Act. Very good. Act. Oh. An old name. <laughs> what you were invited to? District. You are really a district. What? International. Officer. District officer. And what you must do? See. Communicate. Celebrate. Ah, celebrate. And what you must ask for after the projects have been done. Begin with T. Uh, uh, testimonial. Testimonials. And of course, you are going to, into, in celebrating, you will what? Uh, R. You will do that to the lions. Recognize. recognize oh yes and remember lines judy and paulette are going to do that to me okay and of course <laughs> some of this will be done how online. online okay all right so at least i can say that having recapped using this activity that you will remember that you have to act. Of course, you're an, a district officer. You must celebrate. You must ask for testimonials, doing everything online, using up that, um, using up technology, and of course, recognizing the lines for what has what have been done has been done. Okay, next slide, please. Two more assignment. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's the teacher in me. Right, once a teacher, always a teacher, no matter how retired I am. And so we, I'm asking you to do an assignment. I'm asking you to prepare a report and the report just gonna have two parts. The outcome of the research that you have done and uh, how will you use this research in your role as uh, a district coordinator or an assistant district coordinator. You will, I ask that you submit this by June 15, 2020. Um, to me, of course, and June Macchiati, please notice that the Macchiati has two teams. It rhymes with what you sit on in Jamaican parlance. So numbers, laugh no man. <laughs> 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 that one was meant for <laughs> eight seven six four six five five zero zero four june mccarty at hotmail.com and the last side and i could not end without doing some acknowledgments first of all to Lions Judy King and Dr. Paulette McGregor for the opportunity to be involved in this first time activity. To Lion Maureen Graham, District Governor elect now, um, for sharing her plans with me so that I could share with you some of her plans. Lion Denise Forrest, District Governor 60B, and her IT team because uh, trainees if you go on the district website uh, I, that's where i found a lot of information about the roles and responsibilities of the district officers 
So thanks to Line Dennis and her IT team. Line Ashley Hines, I'm so very proud of this young line. She's a member of the Church Teachers College Lions Club, that special kind of club. And she was the line who prepared the slides for me because as an old time teacher, I'm not that skilled. So thanks to Line Ashley. And last but certainly not least, Line Wendy Labarry, 60B IT coordinator for her assistance here tonight and also for, as she says, to spruce up the slides for me. So line DCs and ADCs, I hope that this presentation will be of some help to you in the upcoming Lionistic year. And I wish you all the best. I wish for you a successful year. Good night, Lions. And so now I hand over to Lion Isaac, who will work along with Lion Dorothy Anderson. Thanks again. I was wondering, I was wondering. <laughs> one dega dega person. <laughs> Thank you, Lion June. Thank you, Lion June. You're, you're welcome. You're welcome, Lion Isaac. That was very nicely done. I'm sorry, I'm not a, a coordinator <laughs> or an assistant coordinator, so I can take maximum advantage of all that advice, but I will file it away. I gather all of these things, whatever we are doing here is going to be, um, has been or is being recorded um, for us to look at it later on and um, <clears throat> and do some enhancements if, the, if that is necessary. Um, and also to perhaps do for somebody, ourselves or somebody to do repeats later on. Um, now, first of all, I'd like to line, line Dorothy, are you there? You need yes, to... I'm here. Okay, so are we ready to go? Um, line Wendy, I need to be able to operate my, my, um, PowerPoint. So if you could transfer administration to me so I can hit share. Thank you very much. Okay. Now I've got my, let's see, you know, I need to close this. Now, uh, can we see the, 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 the first slide? But I see that I need to minimize. I don't need to see myself. Can I get some feedback? Are you able to see me and the slides? Yes, slide Isaac. Yeah. Still some stuff. Slide on. Is, yes, slide is on. Very clear. All right. Okay. Can you still see me? You are quite visible, but um, the slides are no good. No. Very, very clear. I look so the slide is no good. You can't see the slide at all. Yes, we're seeing the slides. In the slide. Okay. okay. Yes, slide has it. We're seeing the slides. You can continue. You can Thank you. Line Dorothy, you ready? Yes, I am. 
Okay. Now, um, good evening, all. Or should I say, yes, it's still evening, not night yet. Good evening, all lions, and welcome to this section of our our training program for this afternoon. Um, I want to acknowledge, uh, you notice the teaching teaching style of a, a professional teacher line in line June, and uh, you will now hear another <laughs> approach to, uh, to what I am going to try to impart on you. I'm really going to be leaning very heavily on experience and what I have learned from this rather than teaching skills. But one of the th two things I would like to, to mention is that First of all, at any time that we're myself or Lion Dorothy is making a point or going through any of the slides, and I wish you make a comment that you're not clear on or you need some additional information, please interrupt. Rather than waiting for the end, I personally prefer the interruption that we can deal with the question and then carry on after that. But sometimes you don't remember to come back or what we had in mind at the time when it came up. So if you all are all right with that, we would like to proceed along those lines. Okay. Now, club service chairperson. They, in my club, I have a, as you all recognize, I have a, our, our club president, district club president of the year is a very, um, astute lady and she has she has given me this responsibility in my club and she coins a phrase she calls it the super ministry and um you will find out why she says this as we get along as we move along in this particular section of the training club service chairperson now, the important part in this slide is that that person is a member of the global action team. And I know a lot of people are not too conversant with what the global action team is. So let's see if we can move that. I'm not, I'm not getting the response. From the slide. Uh, try clicking your donor. Yeah, I'm looking for that. The only donor I see here is the act drawing tool. No. On, the key, on the keyboard. So, okay, I did that, of course. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I did it before. <laughs> it didn't happen. Okay, thank you. Global action team. Comprises. Somebody has got a radio or something on. The global action team comprises of three sections global leadership, global membership, and global service. So, what is the global action team or the GAT? The Global Action Team is a powerful bridge between LANs and the International Association. LANs meaning all of us in the field and the International Association. It is a field team specifically designed to connect clubs, districts, leaders, and beyond the tools and resources developed to improve their service impact. Now, this is a very important statement in terms of what Lions Clubs International is trying to do. What they're saying is that they need a team of Lions who are going to connect all of these resources through the clubs and the districts and the leaders to develop and improve our service impact. So you'll understand it's a, that's why the term global is used and action is used. And of course, it's those three 
areas that comprise the team. Now, we need to know who, and who, I should make the point that, remember now that global service or club service is what we're dealing with here. Just to remember that, focus on that. Now, who is the person responsible for us in our club? Our president. Our president, president is our club global action team chairperson. Who is the GST club service chairperson? I'm going to ask Lion Dorothy to pick this up. Lion Dorothy? Okay, I'm here. The GST club service chairperson will bring Melvin Jones's dream to life that every need can be met by a lion or a leo. Whatever it is, as long as it's a dream, one of us can meet that need. The GST is, CSC is responsible for one, implementing impactful service and fundraising projects. The service project engage, engagement of members, evaluate awareness of lions, collective impact in fulfilling global humanitarian needs. Okay. Okay. Any comment? Anything? Thank you. Okay. Now, what is the reporting structure for the global service team club service chairperson? Because we're going to have to report, as Lion June has made a point, we have to report what is the structure for reporting. The global service team club service chairperson reports to the Global Service Team District Coordinator. Try to remember that. The GST Club Service Chairperson reports to the Global Service Team District Coordinator. The GST CSC, you also know, have using the acronyms now. The first one would be the Club Service Chairperson. The next one is the Club membership chairperson and then the, 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 the club leadership development chairperson report to the global action team chairperson who is your president. Which member is a good candidate for the office of club service chairperson? I'm going to ask Lion Dorothy to pick this up as well. Lion Dorothy, you need to speak a little louder. Okay. And um, I'm going to ask all of the, the, the participants here tonight to pay special attention to this slide. This is very important because this is who you are expected to be. Go ahead, Lion Dorothy. The members should be passionate about Lion and invest in the association's future. That means that you must be a candidate who will be a part of the Lions Club, the part of the movement, comes what may. Be experienced in leading and developing service activities. Possesses, possess strong project or event management, public speaking presentation skills. So you must be able to hold the audience, you must be able to do a presentation and all the audience, you don't get your people, person sleeping on you while you're doing your presentation. You must be able to come across as somebody that they can, you can interface with, you can talk, you can do your interactions. You must be familiar with the LCIF program, partnership and grants. Be proficient with communication technologies such as email, MyLion, Zoom, go to meeting, Instagram, WhatsApp, Messenger, YouTube, Facebook. You must be computer literate. You must be able to use what you have because in times like these, we can only communicate if we are able to use technology. Your time, sir. Thank you, Linda. Anything? Participants, I want you to pay special attention to this slide because you are that person, which is the reason why you have been elected or selected to hold this position in your club. And as we go on, you will find that you 
have got your finger in every pie in your club. Everything to do with what Lionism is all about is going to be centered around you. So let's move on. What is required of the club service chairperson? You facilitate the development and implementation of your club's service goals. Very important. You facilitate the development and implementation of your club's service goals. This assumes, of course, that your club has service goals and you've clearly defined what you plan to do for the year ahead of you which you are going to determine when you sit at your retreat or on your planning meeting, do your budgets and determine what signature projects you're going to continue with and what calendar projects you're going to continue with. You help your fellow members to assess community needs and you'll hear more about that. Those community needs, of course, has to do with your what you have done last year and what you're going to do this year and based on your needs assessment surveys what you plan to add into this year which of course is going to include your district governor's goals and whatever goals come to you through international through your district governor from international through your district governor now, please remember that it is important to the performance of your club that you take on projects within your ability to properly do them. Often, clubs will select many, many projects to do based on their need to make their administrators very happy. But they, from time to time, if they are not equipped, don't have the resources in-house or, uh, or other resources and abilities, they don't carry through properly on some of these projects. So it's very important that you identify the projects that you have the resources to support so that when you get into these projects, you are able to do a good job. Okay, you help to plan and implement service activities. So you're an integral part in that planning meeting with your president and the other members of your board. You help to report and celebrate the impact of your club service. Now, this word celebrate, is being used, uh, it's, 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 it's become more prominent in the stuff that we do. What are we really doing? When we report our clubs and we celebrate the impact of our club service, it really has to do with shouting to our service community the impact of what we have done and what has developed over the years and has become so much more prominent these days with the other pressures, health pressures on us, is that we are sharing more of this celebration with other Lions clubs in our areas and also internationally than we ever did before. And of course, what is driving this is the isolation that we are finding has been imposed on us. So a number of sites have come up and a number of forums, lion forums have come up. So we need to make sure that when we celebrate the impact of our club service, that we place the pictures and the details of the service on these sites for the benefit of all the other service, lion service clubs, from which as well, when they do it, we learn from them. And sometimes there are initiatives that are very suitable to our operation that we can take advantage of. You collaborate with your club's leadership 
and membership chairpersons to involve potential new members for your club during local service activities. Now, what this sentence is saying is that one of the areas of potential for new members has always been our service activities. When we are out there with our regalia, very attractive, we find a lot of people admire us, they come to see what we're doing, and a lot of persons, when they learn what we're doing, they like what we're doing, and that gives us an opportunity of getting them into our clubs or into our association. So this is very important, this section. You collaborate with your club's leadership and membership chairpersons to involve potential new members for your club during local service activities. The operating phrase there is during local service activities. What are the responsibilities of the club service chairperson? Collaborate with your club's GLT, GMT, and GAT chairs to set service goals that align, that align with membership and leadership goals. So you are you're a part of the decision-making process in setting your service goals that align with membership and leadership goals. Develop action plans to meet the service goals that address the needs of the community. You are expected to be an integral part in that development plan. Develops and leads a service committee to implement your service plan. Now, once you have put your plan together, you're going to have to implement it. And what the recommendation is here is that you need to develop and lead a service committee, which is a group of you, a group of lions working with you, who are going to focus on the implementation of the service plan that you have agreed with your board that you're going to use to implement your service for the next 12 landistic months. Include your layers in your service plan, creating hands-on service opportunities for layers and the youth in the community. Now, what is interesting in this particular sentence has to do with the fact that they are encouraging you, you are being encouraged to ask the leaders to bring along friends because you want to bring youth in the community that you're serving into the whole ambience of service so when you include your layers in your service plans creating hands-on service opportunities for layers and youth in your community the emphasis here is on getting youngsters who are not already committed to lionism or layerism to be exposed and to like what they see and to, and to ask to come into the club. Report your service activities to LCI as each is implemented. Later on, we will talk about that reporting. Where it says here, as each is implemented, it's more structured than that because you have to do this on a monthly basis. Serve as a club resource for community needs, best practices of other clubs and initiatives of LCI and LCIF. Now, you are going to be the club resource, which means the club is depending on you to provide information on your community needs, to provide information on best practices, particularly of other clubs and initiatives of LCI and LCI. So you are going to be the catalyst to move this information into your club. As such, you're gonna to have to become very familiar with the various forums that exist online, even not only from L LCI, but I was looking and mentioning to Dorothy earlier on, there are two that are very useful. One is the Global Lands Forum on your Facebook top page where you have groups 
you'll find it there global lands forum and lands lands all world and they bring you up to date not only with what is happening at lci but what is happening internationally you are the resource individual lands remember that as we go along if there's anything that you would like to more information on or you're not quite clear about what is being said please indicate so that we can elaborate on that responsibilities continue encourage full membership participation in service activities we we all know what happens here there are 30 of us in the club and 10 people do all the work so this is an area that needs a lot of attention from the service chairperson you need to encourage your membership to participate in service activities by you one of the things that can be done is to remind the members that whilst the individual committees are responsible for the planning of the projects when the when the time comes for implementation every member of the club is required to come out and participate in that activity we know it's not happening and we need to work at that and it's going to be one of your responsibilities collaborate with your membership chairperson to promote membership drives and opportunities to non-lions during service activities in the previous slide we talked about bringing layers into your service activities and the youth we are doing the same thing here at membership drives and opportunities to non-lions during service activities when is where we have the greatest impact and attraction for members of the public so you need to collaborate with your membership chairperson to promote membership drives during your service activities so you take advantage of those persons who are looking on and seeing what we're doing participate in the zone meetings which are the district governors advisory committee meetings as appropriate you will understand that it is very important for you to attend these these zone meetings because a lot of reports and discussions take place there most of which you can benefit from and there are times when you can also make a contribution encourage your members to utilize the my Land app to keep up to date with local service activities and projects you're going to have to be doing your reporting there as well land june had mentioned it before and Lan Steve is going to be doing a workshop on that. So I would suggest that you, in particular, you need to pay attention to that and become very familiar with my land because that's where you're going to be interfacing with international for most of the information that you need. Okay. Here are some of the things you need to do. And I'm going to ask Lion Dorothy to go with these. Lion Dorothy? Okay, review your club's current and recent service activities. Attend the incoming club of officers training organized by your region and the district. Establish your club service activity calendar. And the, the, um, the calendar, it's also part of what it tells what is coming up and then you can plan from your club what to do on those special days and i think lion june mentioned something about that in her presentation so you know what the club calendar is and then you look at the days when you can implement something in your club based on so it, everybody will be doing the same thing on that day check LCI event calendar and create, oh, it's LCI event calendar and create similar events in your calendar if applicable in your community. So just like she, well, she spoke about the beach cleanup and the mandible, you know what is coming up, you know where you are, you know what your community can go with, run with, that is on the calendar. So you create that and you make sure that on that day, all the clubs will be doing the same thing, if possible. 
All right. Now, can I just expand a little bit on that, uh, and Dorothy? Um, what we're talking about here is the same thing that Lands International puts out that we look at that tells us what are the special days and dates where we celebrate certain activities. You are going to be responsible for doing that for your club. It says establish your club's service activities calendar. So, the, so it's not a very difficult thing to do if you use the Lions Club's calendar template. You can actually, when you decide on what your service activities are going to be and you have completed your planning, you prepare a calendar of events and you are going to use that calendar to monitor, to advise, to support, and to, re and to report later on. Establish, monitor, and report, right. What are your tasks? This is in addition to the, the, the research that you're doing and the support that you're providing your club and your various committees and your board and your president, you have some specific duties. Monthly, you need to monitor and maintain club service activities. That is to say, when you come to your club meeting or when you go to your director's meeting, you have to have information with you to report on what is happening to your club. Remember that your president is your GAT boss. So you're reporting to the president in the direct in the director's meeting. And you, of course, will do likewise in your club meetings as necessary. The other item is to prepare for programs and club meetings. So the, the preparation that you'll be going to be putting together is whatever supporting material and information is necessary, you provide that for your club meetings. Communicate with club officers and your GAT chairperson, who is your president, which is what I just said. Report your club's service activities in my land. And that is the monthly report that goes to LCI through my land. Of course, this, this identifies that you need to register in my land and be comfortable in how to navigate on that website so that you can on, not only provide and submit your reports, but you can gain and glean information that is already on the my land site a lot of which is put there for general notice and utilization. Quarterly, attend and participate as needed at zone meetings, district governor's advisory committee meetings, as I had mentioned before. But this is a, an activity that you need to identify as being a quarterly responsibility. So make yourself available. Remember that you are this position that you're now occupying means that you are representing your club outside of your club, particularly in this area of your district governor's advisory committee meetings. Annual. Attend where possible your district, multiple district meetings and conventions. Now, we, we all understand the expense of travel. And in more recent times, we now understand the danger of travel and the difficulties involved. And we're hoping that all of this will improve in the months to come. But it is commonly felt that we are not going to get back to where we were in the immediate future, or I should say in the foreseeable future. So we're going to have to find new and innovative ways of relating to district and multiple district meetings and conventions, which we are already exposed to having just had a couple of cabinet meetings online and our district convention last week, which was excellently done and is getting rave reviews all over. Um, I must take this opportunity here to congratulate our 
district governor and her team for putting together such a really, really good, interesting and a, a, attentive, workable online convention. We all enjoyed it and uh, we're looking forward to doing that down the road. It may become a part, a regular part of our, our meeting schedules. Attend where possible Lions Club International Convention. Again, that depends on our ability to travel. But once we can get the opportunity to go, for any land who has not been to an international convention, it is something that you need to put. I don't want to say your bucket list because that shouldn't be the last thing that you do, but you should make every effort to go to one that's nearby, that's affordable, because it's an experience that you need to have in Lionism. Attend where possible the annual USA Canada Lions Leadership Training Forums. Now, this is a very, very important one that once we are able to travel, that we need to follow up on. And the, and the reason for this is that for a long time, multiple District 60 reported to Constitutional Area 3, which is Central and South America and the Caribbean. And we had a lot of problems in terms of the cost of going to conventions and forums that they were putting on, um, the relationships in terms of our, our lifestyles and was just not compatible. And uh, we weren't getting anywhere. And we also had language problems, language challenges, because it's all Spanish and Portuguese. Um, and so we made an appeal, which took some time and some doing to convince International to remove Multiple District 60 from Constitutional Area 3 to Constitutional Area 1. And they accepted us, and we are now a part of Constitutional Area 1. And they have embraced us, and they know identify us as Lions of the Caribbean. And whenever there is an international convention, there are um, appointing hotels for us, assigning hotels. That's how we are described, Lions of the Caribbean. When we go to these forums, which is put on on an annual basis in North America, we are welcomed with great enthusiasm. And they expect that we are going to be very active with them because we ask to be moved. Now, that's one aspect of it. The other aspect of it is that these training forums are specifically for leadership training, and it includes constitutional area one and two, one being the United States of America and two is Canada. They have like 50, 60 workshops over a two, three day period. And it is intense. And it offers tremendous training opportunities, which means that we can, as lands, we can get a, a bachelor's degree in lionism, a master's degree in lionism, and a doctorate in lionism. Many of us in 60B and multiple district 60 have been successful in these programs and others are pursuing upward mobility in these qualifications. So, and, and the, the training workshops are run by professional persons with international speakers. So that's why this section is so very important. These Lions Leadership Training Forums every year and the, you'll notice that they will they'll be sending out the brochures and so on once we get back online and start doing some traveling. Attend to your year-end checklist which should include award applications, appreciation plaques, awards and Lions branded products. Now 
What are we talking about here? Appreciation. Lion June alluded to it, <laughs> particularly for herself in recognition. But remember that we are serving mainly because we love to help others. But when we do something, we need to be recognized and appreciated for what we do. And that is very, very important. And this is an important part that you have to work with your club at the year end, at the end of each year, to ensure that these award applications, award applications meaning there are some awards you apply to LCI for, and there are other plaques that you do and awards and Lions branded products you can get like for, for uh, cups and pencils, pens and so on. And that's very important because as Lion Jr. made the point, if you're doing a good job, you want to be told that you're doing a good job. And when somebody does a good job and an appreciation is extended, that person is enthused and does an even better job. So that is really very, very important in what we do. And you prepare records of the past year service activities and keep that record in that book that you're going to carry. And one of the reasons why you're doing it is not only to make your reports, but to orient the incoming club service chairperson. You need to be able to hand over clearly so you have a you provide ongoing and continuing attention to this particular activity in your club. So that when your new incoming club service chairperson arrives, they are just picking up what you have already established. So this is important that you have this information ready and written and used, utilized throughout the year and mm -hmm. at the end of the year. Okay, I hope we're doing all right so far. Where can, we, where can you get information and assistance during your year as club service chairperson? Remember that you are part of the Global Action Team and that your president is the Global Action Team chairperson in your club. Therefore, you not only interface with your president, but a lot of information that you will need from time to time, you will get from your president because your president is your boss at the club. Remember also that there is a district GST chairperson and a multiple district GST chairperson. They have their responsibilities too, not district and multiple district, but they are also available to you for guidance and for assistance. LCI is always available and have produced for your detailed guidance the Club Service Chairperson's ebook, which you should download from Lions International Web. Now, I don't know if you all know that this book exists, but this book can be your Bible, which you should have with you, keep in your folder all, all the time, and it lists in great detail all the stuff that we've been talking about here tonight and all the stuff you're going to know. And as they upgrade it, it will guide you along as you go. And, and really, I've been using it for some time because as I said to you before, that's my job at, at my club. And it really is invaluable. This ebook also lists a number of projects recommendations for implementation by your club as suitable and appropriate. Remember that these project recommendations from time to time, I should say from year to year, may change. So you have to keep abreast of what those project recommendations are coming to you from international as well as from your district government. Remember to register on my line. That's very important because I know a lot of people have not registered but this is critical for your job that you register on my line for superb and up-to-date information and for submitting your monthly 
and other reports. Prepare to lead, prepare to succeed. You will be serving in a critical role of facilitating the development and implementation of your club service goals. Spend time learning about your role and remember that as a senior lion, as you ought to be with all those qualifications, in an important position, you are a role model to your younger members. And I, and I can tell you for sure that when you have new lions coming in and you're giving them assignments, they're not only looking at listening to what you're telling them to do, they're looking to see whether or not you are doing the work that you're asking them to be a part of. So being a role model is really a serious requirement in the job that you have. As a matter of fact, it is so for all lines, but particularly in this, partic this, this, this discipline that we are uh, talking about now, because you are going to be touching every part of your club's activities. I want to congratulate you all on your being selected or elected as club service chairpersons for your club and have a great productive and satisfying year. Lan Dorothy? I'm here. You want to? Before you go, I'm just going to remind you that the project book is very, very important. Yes. The project book, um, it captures the li and lists all the current pro projects and the planned projects for the club. It projects vital information that should be controlled, documented, indexed, or retrieved in a ready, accessible manner. So your project book is very, very important. It should be updated regularly, say every week, because that's what you're going to use to make your report to your president and also to my land. That's a pro the information will come from your project book. And it should um, include all the names of the project, the budget, the benefits. It should capture the what, the when, the where, the why of your project. Your signature project and your calendar project should be recorded. And at the end of each project, you should do an evaluation. You evaluate the project, you evaluate yourself. So you do your reflection to see where you, well, where you fell or where you, um, you have done more better than you had projected so your project book is very very important and you should have that because it helps with your strengths and your weaknesses you see where where i was weak in this project so i'm going to do better the next time and as you hand over to the next the person coming after you that person can also use your project book to see where you your best practices where you your strong points your weak areas and do a better job Thank you very much. Thank you, Dorothy. And I want to thank you all for spending the time with us at this first virtual incoming club officers workshop. And we wish you every success for this year and into the next, because I'm sure that at the end of the year, you're going to love this job. You become so involved that I wouldn't be surprised if number of persons who are occupying this position end up repeating. But at the same time, you need to remember that you need to give your young and new lands an opportunity to take part in the success and development of your club. Philip, and Thank you all for listening. And if there are any questions at this stage, before we sign off. Yes, Lan has it. Yes, go ahead. Just uh, you mentioned under the course of the task, the attendance at zone meetings and region meetings. Yeah. One of the biggest challenges is that you tend not to get this information for those that you're not directly a member of. So if you're in 4A, you hardly hear about 4B or 4C until something long after it's gone. Uh -huh. So the information not going to the district chairman and even to other clubs in general as a general information, it's very, very limiting. Well, <clears throat> you, you, let us say that you have highlighted an area that needs improvement. 
And so I'm going to suggest that you, as the you meaning the service chairperson, take the initiative to get that information. Now, I know that I have had this habit of whenever I can, whenever I have the, the time to do it, particularly on a Sunday when I can make the time to do it, I will attend other zone meetings and other region meetings other than the ones in my immediate area of influence. And going way back, perhaps when driving was less expensive, most of us used to attend these meetings in other regions and other zones, just as how we used to interclub with our clubs. Now we are we are limited in doing that because of the cost of traveling and petrol and the toll roads and all of that stuff now, but we still do it. A lot of us still do it. But even if you don't go, you can get the information by making contact with the zone or the region chairman. Rather than waiting for the information to come to you, you can reach for that information. What you will not get is the togetherness and the ambience and the, the intimate connection that you get when you associate with other members from other zones and other people. Because remember that even when we travel throughout our district and multiple district, we establish connections with other lands and other clubs. And this has been a very important part of our activity as lands. What has actually been happening is that whilst we don't have that personal connection as we used to, the connectivity is even greater now than it was before. Because now that we are all in isolation, we have found other ways of maintaining and making sure that we have that connection, that contact with our fellow lions. And one of the positive spin-offs is that certainly in my club and what I have heard of, where we used to have 70% attendance and 75% attendance at meetings, we are now having 80, 90, 95 on one or two occasions. Since we have been having online meetings, we have had 100% attendance of all our active members at meetings, something that I have never seen. So whilst there is a a bit of a challenge on the side of the physical traveling. We are, we have become more together, put it that way, you know, in a virtual manner, in the virtual manner. So you will find that a lot of the information coming out of zone meetings, which of course will be held online and will be available to any of us from any zone. We don't have to worry about traveling to Montego Bay or to Lucia or Port Antonio. Whilst it was very nice when we could and probably will be nice when we start doing it again, but we're going to be able to easily access those meetings from now on. As a matter of fact, even when we are back to normal, I would want to think that those meetings are going to have a virtual content where we can log in when we can't make it. Is there any other point somebody would like to make? Laila, is that a quick question for you? Um, with, regards, with regards to a comment you made at the outset, you said it was um, this, this role is regarded as a super ministry. And I, I found that interesting because here in Cayman, when we looked at it, we thought, well, okay, is this going to create any challenges with the vice presidents or the other uh, project chairperson? So I wouldn't mind hearing about your experience in terms of whether or not it was any duplication or any pushback from vice presidents with regards to who owned the ultimate, ultimately who owned the responsibility for seeing projects and seeing them through. I'd like to get uh, your feedback on that. Yes, I do admit that when you read some sections of that ebook, it tends to give the impression that you have sole responsibility 
for those service operations. But how it has to work is a collaborative activity where you are, if you, if you look at the overall requirement of this position, you will find that it wouldn't be physically possible for any one person to take on everything in the club. So it has to be collaborative. You're going to work with your board. You're going to be, you're, it's like saying you're an ex officio member of every committee in your club. You become involved in it. You have the responsibility of, of, of coming up with ideas. You work along with your committee chairman. For instance, your fundraising chairman may have very good connections and good ideas and so on. But then you also need to come up with some initiatives and and work with that committee so that committee puts once they accept it puts it into place for the benefit of the club so how i see it is it's a collaborative activity with let's call it an oversight responsibility for virtually every aspect of the club except things like well, even in, in the case of seeing to it that the membership, the membership members of the members of the club are content and happy, whatever ideas you may have to put in place for for improving the membership experience of the members, you work with that through your club. You don't take over the twisters' responsibility or the treasurer's responsibility. That's not how I'm seeing it. The document is written as if to indicate that you have almost a direct responsibility, but it doesn't say what happens, what is to happen to the chairman of the respective committees that have been appointed by the president. And that remains the same. So you have to be working in a collaborative way. You're a part of what is going on and you have responsibilities to go there and work. Take the matter of of um of encouraging working with your and it says that working with your membership director so that when you go on service projects you can put in place a membership drive to take advantage of your visibility that's a collaborative activity but you have the responsibility to do that action and work along with your membership chairman to make sure that it is implemented as best as possible. So I'm saying that it's, I don't see it as a conflict. I see that all of the various areas of responsibility in your club, all of the committees is going to get, you're going to benefit from your input and from the assistance that you will give them. That's how I see it. Thanks, Ben, Isaac. Thank you for your feedback. Any other questions? All right. Well, we're almost out of time. Um, line, line D60. Line Wendy. Line, line, line IZ. Yes. This um, is Line Julie. I'm sorry. Go ahead. OK, it's not a question. I, I thought you were I'm expecting a wrap up at this stage. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. So I'll be I will be willing to handle that for you. Line Judy. Yes. Okay. Just want to. I've got my 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 um my screen full of my of my slide. That's why I'm not seeing you. Oh. But, um, you must yes. be terribly disappointed, Line Isaac. But it's okay. Oh. I'm going, I'm going to zoom in on you now. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes. Could you please wrap up? Okay. Um, Lions, I am not the person to um, give the vote of thanks, but I wanted to say how much I enjoyed this evening's presentation. I learned a lot. It's a whole lot of material, but we don't have to worry about it because this information is being recorded. And once this stuff is cleaned up to make it a little bit more presentable for the website, it will be placed on the website so that lions who 
need a refreshers course can always go and get that information or those lands who were not able to attend this evening or any of the other evenings. I also wanted to remind you that there is an evaluation form, which is in the chat section of this presentation. There is a link there for you to use. Those of you who um, were not were here at the beginning of the meeting heard me say that if you had attended other um, sessions, you just hit the button that says next at the bottom and it will give you a fresh page so you can do the um, evaluation on all the ones that you have done. You need to indicate at the top, I think it's the top right hand side, what session you are evaluating. Um, we had 34 persons registered, registered to attend this evening's session, and I'm happy to report that at our highest point, we had 52 participants. So the school is going very well. At this point, I would like to call on Lion Marilyn Anderson from the St. Andrew Lions Club to move the vote of thanks. All right. Good night, fellow Lions. Thank you, Lion Judy. Um, you pointed out that it was at a high. We had 52 members. So I just want to say thank you on behalf of the 52 members who were logged in. Thanks so much to all our presenters. We have learned so much tonight. Um, thanks, Lion Judy, for moderating the session for us tonight. I'd like to thank Lion June and her team, which involves of we um of our incoming district governor, Land Maureen, Land Judy, Land Paulette, Land Denise, Land Ashley, and Land Wendy. So that's a big team that went behind her and her presentation. As the guinea pig to which she referred herself when she started, as this is the first time this training is being done and added to that the fact that this training is being done online um, we certainly saw in her presentation the organizing 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 that went into um, her presenting for the incoming district coordinators and assistant district coordinators i will dub your message as lpac so lpac learn where we do our research so we know all about the area that we're um, responsible for plan how to work with the clubs spike their interest and inspire them act get involved and check in with them from time to time or as often as we can and celebrate so we get their testimonials we get we have present newsletters and we ensure that we recognize um, when good things are done. So LPAC, I will remember that, and I'm sure our um, district coordinators and assistant district coordinators will also remember. And in the true spirit of the teacher, we were kept on our toes with quizzes to ensure that we were paying attention. And also, just in case you lads forget, we have homework, which is due on June 15th. And June, we thank you. In addition, we want to thank Lan Isaac and Lan Dorothy for sharing the actions and the activities of the club service chairperson. It's interesting that one of the questions referred to a super ministry because in our club, we have a joke on this, Lan Isaac is actually that person for our club. And we do call it the super ministry when he is called upon to give his report. Thanks for giving clarity to this very important post as a member of the Global Action Team. We want to thank you specifically for breaking it down, breaking down all the duties and the tasks that are involved. It is a critical role and reminding us not only to talk the talk, but we have to ensure that we all walk the walk. Thanks again to the team, um, the, the entire team for not being daunted by the current pandemic which we are facing and forging ahead with this business of 
training under what we can now call our new normal. Um, just saying thanks again for you know the fact that this information and all this information will be available online because I'm sure we all will certainly be drawing on it um, throughout the year. So thanks again on behalf of all of us. On the end. Thank you very much, Lion Marilyn. I think she has said it for all of us. I just want to say one last thing. Lion June spoke about her expectation of some kind of compensation. <laughs> I want her to understand it's going to be done virtually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she's looking forward to that. So, Lions, Lions, <laughs> let me tell you something. <laughs> if it's even a hug, I am looking for it. It's COVID oh, time. You yes. and I can hug. <laughs> oh, all right. Listen, she, I'm, I'm, I'm going to mute the mic because I don't like what she's saying. Good night, Lions. Thanks for participating. Good night. Free to attend any other session between now and Sunday. Good night, I'm all. Here. Thanks, Good night. Thanks for an here. excellent night. presentation. Night, night. Night.